All right, coming to you live from Oscon. I'm here with Sam Ramji. Sam, how are you? I'm doing awesome, Barton. How about you? I'm doing very well. So you are at Apogee. Can you tell us a little bit about Apogee? API starts the name. I bet that's a clue. That's right. It is a clue. A-P-I-G-E-E. -E. Yeah, we started focusing on APIs several years ago, and we've learned that what is really important is the world of websites is disintegrating into a world of apps. The world of PCs is disintegrating into a world of devices. So what's new is there's sort of a mobile value chain that goes from all the things that you used to manage the web to what you thought was the web, but now it's all of your backend systems and it's all of these apps. So what we've learned to do is build out app infrastructure, API infrastructure, and then analytics to be able to put that all back together. So it's a great time to be doing that. We work with uh, some of the world's largest companies, about 20 of the Fortune 100 are our customers, about 200 of the Global 2000. So we focus on helping enterprises figure out how to make productive use of mobile devices. So when, when you come to a, to a company you start talking about APIs, obviously the people here would all understand it at OSCON. Right. But do you find in enterprises a lot of people give you blank stares or do you have to really sort of sell them on what it is and what the value is? At this point on the IT side, everybody gets APIs because uh, the market's accelerated a lot in the last year. Even on the business side, we're starting to find more and more of the VPs of innovation, uh, general manager of e-commerce, they all get what an API is and that they need one. They get a little bit vaguer on what's the business model behind an API, but they have a sense that it's important. So when you go into talk, are you talking to business, ops, and developers? Do you pick one of those crowds, or who, who do you focus on? Uh, we tend to talk to the business person, and then we kind of help them hold, uh, help hold their hands to go talk to somebody in the CTO or the products organization and then help them see how this all meets um, the needs of developers. So it really starts with a, a business, sort of a value chain focus, and then help them see, hey, how do, how do I stop rebuilding apps from scratch every single time I have an app initiative? How do I get better access to partners? How do I get better information in the hands of employees? And then we walk them through, you know, maybe IT architects and developers who already kind of get it, but they're looking for a way to make this all make sense. So do you have a specific uh, reach or outreach program towards developers uh, separately from the rest, or do you go through the, through the, uh, the business to get to them? We do, uh, we, do, we do two things at the same time, so it's sort of meeting in the middle. On the, on the business side, we produce a lot of you know, strategy guidance, a lot of free documentation, free research to understand what's happening in the market, why it matters to you know, business development people or whatever. On the developer side, we have a, a, a free platform as well as an open source platform for being able to build apps faster, being able to build APIs faster, and then being able to get analytics on that entire set. So we try to we try to go both directions at the same time. And what's common about them is that business people have problems. They have a P&L to manage. They're doing things every day that they're being measured. Developers have code to write and applications to ship. And then there's often a wide layer of people between the developer, who's a doer, and the marketer, who's a doer, who are more thinking about systems, thinking about processes, talking about stuff. What we try to do is focus on the people who are doing stuff and help them succeed. Oh, cool. And then last but not least, what do you see as the big thing happening in the world of APIs in the next year or so? Is there a big ch change that, that you guys are betting on or are seeing? We're just seeing a huge shift of people basically giving up on old approaches that require a lot of, you know, a lot of secret languages, a lot of tight coupling, a lot of, you know, sort of difficult uh, ramp up times, business agreements and whatever, and going for a much lower common denominator angle. I think the, the best person who said this was uh, uh, Jeff Bezos, and he said, look, in a memo he put out in 2002, it doesn't matter whether or not you think your systems are going to be offered to anybody outside the company you absolutely have to construct them as if they might be. So that kind of gives you these, you know, these options for the future, kind of helps you deal with unpredictability. So that's the big change we're seeing is everybody's starting to build their systems as if they might someday be offer offered to somebody outside the company. Awesome. Sam Ramji, thanks so much. Cool. Thank you, Barton.